I swear this pony makes me feel like the baddest bitch out there. Anyways, <laughs> hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to do a current favorites. I asked you guys on Twitter not too long ago if you guys wanted me to do this video and everybody was like, yes, please make it affordable and also some high-end products. So I have a little mixture of everything from like skincare, makeup, to even like body products that I have been obsessed with lately. So if you want to learn what my current favorites are, then please keep on watching and do not forget to subscribe. We just hit one mil on Instagram, which I'm very excited about. This is my Instagram right here. Um, I am going to be having a huge giveaway soon, so stay tuned for that and keep on watching. All right, so... So I want to start off with skincare. You guys know I love skincare. I feel like skincare is more important than makeup just because if your skin is looking flawless and your makeup is going to look flawless as well. First thing I'm going to start off with is my favorite moisturizer at the moment, which is the It Bye Bye Redness Skin Relief Treatment Moisturizer. The reason why I love this is because the consistency is so thick. I love thick moisturizers because I feel like those hydrate me and moisturize me the most. A lot of the times I'm like putting on lotion, my face gets really red afterwards just because it's sensitive. And since this one has like that kind of like teal green color it cancels it out plus this is the whole point of this it's for sensitive skin as well so if you have sensitive skin this will work great for you i love using this in the morning and before my makeup another um moisturizer it is the kiehl's glow formula skin hydration with pomegranate extract instantly illuminates skin and provides a antioxidant protection why i love this is because not only is it hydrating you guys i apply moisturizer I was saying the reason why I love this it's because it has a tint to it so it's kind of like a tinted moisturizer but it's not at the same time and this just leaves your skin so glowy it smells really really good and now the thing about this is that it's really thin and silky you can apply this before your makeup or you can mix it into your moisturizer I mix this with the Fenty Beauty foundation and oh my god my skin was just so glowy and it kind of did thin out the foundation which I didn't mind at all I kind of liked it it gave me like that more natural look but this is amazing so if you can get your hands on this definitely cop it moving on next is the watermelon glow sleeping mask this is amazing i love applying this at night obviously it's a sleeping mask and i just wake up with my skin super refreshed and hydrated now what i do want to say about this is that you have to let it dry because this one time i applied it and i was like messing with my face and it like started peeling off and i was like oh my god my skin is peeling off but no it was actually just the mask one i actually got this one because i saw jacqueline's video and anything that jacqueline recommends your girl is buying so i had to get this and it is approved i love it it's amazing this product is my last like face skincare product bitch what the fuck You know what? Just ignore them because they're not leaving. This I apply religiously. This is my second bottle already. This is amazing. This is the Lancome and Advance Genifique. Genifique. I use this in the morning. I use this before I apply my moisturizer. I use this at night. I use this whenever I can. This just helps with like fine lines and it helps just like kind of plump up your skin and makes it really dewy and nice and soft it's a, it's a little bit expensive you guys but this is so worth it it's my favorite serum ever and this just helps keep my skin intact especially with my pores and my fine lines okay now this product my best friend shelby put me on when i saw her putting this on i was like what is that it's kind of like baby oil and lotion mixed together i'm going to show you guys how good this is i'm going to apply it everywhere that way you guys can see oh we love a good lotion we love her do you guys see the difference now this lotion keeps me literally moisturized through the entire day i don't even need to reapply this it is a little bit sticky this is the belief body bomba oh yeah <laughs> ylang <laughs> it's literally spelled y lang but it's like ylang really weird i love to apply this before i go out to events or if i'm wearing like any dresses or skirts and stuff and i want my legs to be super shiny this is amazing i've even used this on my face before i really 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 recommend this one if you can buy any of the products from my current favorites i say go buy this one i bought this at sephora thank me later actually thanks shelby all right now we're gonna move on to the makeup i want to start off with lips just because I just have been loving lip products a lot lately. I usually just have like that one lipstick that I use for every single look. But lately, I've just been all into the nudes. But I've mostly been into the glosses. I was never really a gloss type of person. But ugh, I feel like a gloss just makes my lips look juicier. It makes them look bigger. So I'm going to start off with my favorite gloss at the moment. I posted this video. And everybody was like, what gloss is that? 
This is the Ultra Glossy Lip, which is the Shayla and ColourPop collaboration. This gloss kind of has like um, little like gold speckles in there of like glitter kind of. This is actually the one I'm wearing right now paired with this lip liner. This is my favorite lip liner at the moment. This is the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade Anywhere Caffeine. It is just like the perfect kind of brown mauve nude color. And I just love lining my lips and then adding gloss. I don't like putting any lipstick. And it just looks so freaking good. Now, this gloss I have been rocking with forever. This is the Maybelline Vivid Hot Locker. This gloss is so freaking good. It is just like the perfect nude. And this stays on all day. It's super opaque. Do you guys see how gorgeous this color is? It's like the perfect mauve pink. Now, another um, lip that I've been loving is the L'Oreal Infallible Paints. These are matte and I love these. I'm not usually like a drugstore fan of like lippies just because it's not the best formula out there, but this formula is bomb. This is my favorite color out of the whole line, which is called Tongue Tied. This is just straight up like a nude. This color looks so good on me. It's a little bit lighter than this one over here, but it's just like the formula is so thin, but it's super opaque and it's just, oh, it's the last lipstick I have is from Kylie and it is in the shade Naked. I already have this in my collection. As I was saying, I already have this in my collection. I actually tried this shade out at Karen's house and we did a collaboration. And I feel obsessed with it now. I looked through my products. I was like, I know I have it. And I finally found it. Mm, it's just awesome. Moving on to primer. This primer, you guys, I wanted to get my hands on it because I heard so much hype behind it. And I was like... Let me see what the hype is about. Girl, this primer is amazing. It literally fills in your pores. It kind of, like, the consistency is really silky and it, it, like, spreads around, like, moisturizer. It's really weird. It makes my makeup last all day. It's just, it's amazing. If you want to get a really good primer, I really, 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 really recommend this one. It's Let's move on to brow products. You guys know I am a pencil person. I love brow pencils. I love the ABH brow pencil to be specific. Back in the day, I used to use dip brow. I don't know why you guys let me do that because my eyebrows were like Nike checks. I'm gonna put some pictures here so you guys can see. This is from Kat Von D. This one I love way better because the consistency of the ABH one is really thick and it's kind of hard to blend out this one it's just like really like velvety kind of moussey and it's so easy to blend out this is in the shade medium brown it is what i use to fill in my eyebrows this is the perfect shade for me i love it i love the pencil that it comes with as well if you can i would say get this one instead of the abh one just because it's a better formula so now i'm about to show you guys my secret weapon i have been using this product for about two weeks now i use this every single time i do my makeup it has changed my makeup game and just like the way my makeup looks when i take flash photography or when i'm like in golden hour you know this is the hourglass champagne flash stick so think about it as like a highlighter in a stick form i love applying this under my eyes and you guys are probably like daisy why are you applying highlighter under your eyes like a fucking weirdo so i apply this under my eyes on my chin like pretty much all the areas that you would highlight with concealer and highlighter in the next tutorial i will show you guys what i mean by that if you guys want me to film this look you know so that's that. So now for palette, this has been my current obsession. This is the Makeup by Shayla Times ColourPop palette. It is called Perception. This is just perfect for traveling. It has a mirror on it so that way you could do your makeup if you're traveling. It has all the colors that you need. It's just a really good palette. Shayla did that with this collab. I love the lipsticks, the lip gloss, and the palette. It's super bomb. It's not expensive at all compared to like all the other palettes that have been coming out lately. So if you can get your hands on this, I definitely recommend you do so. Yeah, Shayla, girl, if you're watching this, you did that. So recently, Dose of Colors came out with these single shadows that I just, they astonish me every single time with their formula. Their formulas for their lipsticks and shadows and palettes is just so amazing. These bad boys right here, they're little, but they pack a punch, okay? They came out with at least like 20 of them or a little bit over 20. These are single shadows. They're like a duo chrome kind of like glitter like i just i don't even know how to explain it the formula is just so different and i narrowed it down to my four top favorites and i'm going to start off with the shade slinky so this is slinky it is just like the perfect silver oh my god oh my god that's so beautiful the next color i have is teal me more the color is so gorgeous sometimes it looks blue sometimes it looks purple it's just so pretty this next one i have is heart of gold 
I'm so upset. This was my favorite color out of all of them and this one shattered. So, so pretty. I also have another blue one, okay? The other blue one, it's like a darker blue and it's just so pretty. This blue is like a darker blue. It's a little bit more seductive. And when it shines in the light, it kind of has like blue glitter in it. This is what I use to do that like blue smoky eye. It's so freaking pretty. So these are the four shades that I recommend you buy from the whole set. There are other ones that are super beautiful, but these were just my four favorite and I love them. We are almost done, you guys. Don't worry. I know this is kind of like a long video, but I just... I just want to put you guys on to some bomb products. Um, next one, this is the MAC Fix Plus, but it's just not your average Fix Plus. This is the Fix and Gold Light. So it looks, you know, like basic, but girl, do you guys see that? Oh my God, it's literally like a highlighter in a bottle. When I spray this all over my face and then I like look in the mirror, you can kind of see like little specks. It's not like glitter, but it kind of just looks like I don't know how to explain it, but it doesn't look like glitter on your face. Let me add some right now. Oh, I love it. They also came out with the matte one. They came out with like a darker gold one. They have came out with a lot of new Fix Pluses, and I love Fix Plus. A lot of people don't like Fix Plus anymore, but I love it. Honestly, I use this at least like four to three times in my makeup routine. So after I put on my primer and I add the shimmery stick, I apply this and then I apply my foundation concealer and then i also spray it with this i spray my beauty blender with it and then once i'm done with my entire face and i spray it all over this is just awesome it has so many uses and if you can get your hands on this i recommend it you want everything in this video i recommend okay you guys know i love perfumes i love smelling good i love when people first meet me and they're like oh my gosh you smell so good what are you wearing now this is my favorite perfume of all time it is the kkw body fragrance i think that's what it's called it's the best material I've ever felt. It, it's kind of like, it feels like sandpaper. It's like a little statue. And the smell of this is... <laughs> oh my God, I literally just bathed my fucking mouth. This is just like a bougie Abercrombie and Fitch smell. I, that's like the only way I could describe it. It just smells so good. It kind of smells like feminine, masculine. It's just like right in between. It's just amazing. All of her perfumes actually I love. Uh, but yeah, I just thought I'd throw this in there. Look at her butt. Her butt is amazing. I wish I had her butt. Last but not least, I want to show you guys my phone case. This is from Velvet Caviar. It is like a Tiffany blue marble phone case and then it also comes with the little holder things. So you can use this to put it on your finger or you can use it and you, it actually twists around. So you can use it to like stand your phone like this or like this. It just has a lot of uses. I love their phone cases. So that is it for this week's video. Now, before I let you guys go, I just got confirm the cities that i will be going on tour with they will be released really really soon tickets will be going on sale really really soon so just stay tuned on my social media i will keep you guys updated and i'm gonna like drop hints here and there but other than that i'm really excited to go on tour and thank you so much for watching today's video i will see you next time bye guys